hundred miles a month. New critical hits boost, quiescent pandemonium just boosted B. New critical hits boost, quiescent pandemonium just boosted T. New critical hits boost, quiescent pandemonium just boosted K.
Hello, hello everyone. <laughs> we are listening to what we are about to do in the game. This is the uh, the aria that is to be sung by Helena that we will find in in the area that we are we are at right now in Siberia. Anyway, welcome everyone. Uh, welcome Barden, QP and Parrot, also known as the Petty Evil Gang. We got two Ratatosks and two Marys today. <laughs> anyway, um, QP. Ah, now Barden too. We got some boost as usual. someone who supposedly has her soul tainted by the evil of a dead god. You remind me considerably of a chipmunk with a sugar high and a death wish. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. That's a nice quote. So vampire, ten temple. Barton the Slayer just boosted NWN. Fame was always Sammy's thing. He's always loved attention. Ever since he did that strip tease in the half orc bar to keep from being pummeled. I've always thought he was a bit of a diva. <laughs> I don't even want to know the context for now. Thank you for the boosts, QPM Barton. So we got a Baldur's Gate and um, Neverwinter. Right. Enjoy your lurk, Barden, and thank you so much for taking the time to stop by and boost and lurking. Thank you. All right. Um, let me set my desktop up. So yeah, I think I think we are very likely to finish the game today. Very likely. But we will see. I I might always get stuck badly. So last time we played this game was so long ago. It was yesterday. And we started at Barkstadt Aviary. We eventually found a way to repair the contraption made by Hans in the university campus and got granted some money by the university which we used to hire the barge owners, the couple, to tow our truck towards the gate and the mechanical winding machine. We wound up our train we acquired an exit visa and we left that area and we came to the... Um, I forgot the name of the place. The old Soviet factory. No, I won't. It's not ready. If I finish the game early today, I'm going to end the stream early. And we are going to start Siberia 2 next Sunday. So we started at the factory and it was actually easier to wind up our train, but meanwhile Oscar's hands were stolen by another... I, I actually don't know if that person is an actual person, an actual human or an uh, automaton, I was not sure, but whoever that is, the guy used Oscar's hands to finish his automaton pianists, which he will use to accompany a well-known but retired opera singer called Helena. What was the surname? Romanowski? I I'm not sure. Anyway, we, uh, we need to find that singer and bring her back to the factory if we ever want to get Oscar's hand back and leave that area and go after Hans. Komkosgrad, yeah, exactly. So we have done some stuff, we have worked with a cosmonaut, a retired cosmonaut in the area, which helped us operate an airship, and now we are in Arlbad, where there's a spa for retired soldiers, cosmonauts, and other important people of this government, and apparently Helena is one of them. So, 
we um, landed in the area and we didn't exit the airship before saving and quitting yesterday. And that's what we are going to do today to start the stream it. I hope you are having a fine uh, Monday. New start of the week. Hope everything is fine and you're enjoying your day and you keep enjoying the day. Who is it now? Hello? What do you think you're doing, Kate? I wanted updates. I wanted results. Certainly, Mr. Marson. We all do. Down on the ground, we're doing all we can, but there's no new developments. Kate, I don't think you understand the urgency of this situation. Universal toys are on my back and digging in. I can't hold them off much longer. You're putting the firm in a very tricky situation. Why is it situation. our fault? I am very sorry, but a slight mishap or two has meant that I've had to modify my mission temporarily. Miss Walker, you're walking on a minefield here. I don't have to underline that this affair is Class A Priority Numero Uno. Hot! I am only too aware of that, Mr. Marson, and believe me, I am doing all I possibly can. But this mission is really no piece of cake. You can have all the cake you want and eat it too when you get home. Next time I call you, I want something yeah, that doesn't make any something sense. Solid. I want results. You want to stand results? Yes, Mr. Marson. That doesn't make sense. You can't have your cake and eat it too. That is so beautiful. Let's add vodka now. Good morning, sir. Good day to you, and welcome to the Hotel Kopsky. I don't expect you to make a Okay, music. Okay, calm down. We've got a few rooms left with the sea view. Uh, well, actually, I wasn't counting on staying in Arrowbad. I see. It's like that, then. Uh, so, what can I do for you? Let me introduce myself. I'm Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer sent by a major American law firm to take care of a delicate inheritance case. Ah, very pleased to meet you, Miss Walker. Felix Matana at your service. I'm the receptionist of this establishment. Between you and me and the brick wall. I often play the role of general it's manager Matana. here, too. Ah, these days the place ain't what it used to be. This hotel is truly incredible, though. It's kind of sumptuous in an old-fashioned way. You should see how sumptuous our suites are. For more than a whole century, they have accommodated some of the world's greats. Would you like to take one? No, it's okay, thank you. I'm not staying. I've got to get away. I'm expected. Right. Well, in that case, I don't see what I can do for you. I want to meet someone who lives here. That's very inconvenient. None of my customers said they were expecting someone. You can't just turn up like that. We've got a very strict policy. In this day and age, the hotel ain't too open to, um, impromptu visits from any Tom, Dick, or Harry. But I'm Kate. Uh, please, I absolutely must speak with her. It's very important. If it was that important, all you had to do was ring the hotel. Her people come here to rest, you see, to get away from the world, which ain't turning so good these days. Uh, don't let me keep you. Good day to you, ma'am. Honestly, if I could have called, I would have called, but I couldn't. So please, can you bend the rules just a little, sir? Ma'am, in this hotel, we don't bend nothing for no one. With respect. Sir, I really could use your help. I'm sorry, ma'am, but my helping hand only serves my hotel guests. Well, let me just say that by helping me out, you'd also be helping out one of your very own guests. Ma'am, I'm not to be wound around anyone's little finger, you hear? Why can't a single person be helpful for a change? Could you tell me if a certain Hans Vorlberg has ever been here? On a spa holiday? Uh, yes, yes, that's it. I'm sorry, but our hotel register is strictly confidential. Come on, please, it's not like it's a state secret you're telling me here. And if I just let you consult our register, 
Uh, what am I going to get out of it? Wodka? Uh, my eternal gratitude? That's just what I was expecting. Adieu, as the French say, madame. Usually I travel on this fantastic mechanical train. Haven't I seen some kind of a station here? Is it possible to arrive here by train then? Of course it is. What were you suggesting? Uh, if I'm not very much mistaken, that's your air balloon I see getting blown to shreds in the hotel garden. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, the airship. That's a bit different. I just borrowed that to make the round trip journey to Arlbad. Round trip? Return trip? You better think about getting it off there and quick. With that contraption on my lawn, some of my clientele might have a relapse. It's a real shame that there aren't any guests at your hotel. We had our moment of glory, but now it's all in the past. That's all. Doesn't it make you sad? Why should it? Once upon a time I met the greatest of the great. Now I got my memories. Sweet memories. Okay. At your Let's try giving him the vodka. He clearly wants some bribe, but no, vodka didn't work. Is there anything else? Oh, we we might wait. We might be able to maybe mess up with the TV system, like the antenna, if there's one. So the guy goes out to fix it, and you look at the registry. That could be a thing. I'm so Don't even think. Why are you telling? No reason. Yeah. Well. At wait, what was that? I'm sorry to disturb you again, but I've absolutely got to meet Madame Romansky. Don't even think about it. Any way into this hotel is bolted. Why are you telling me that? No reason. Like that, just in case you feel like walking in and rummaging about. The times are changing, ma'am, and we've had to introduce a security system. Keep out unwanted visitors as sure as we keep out the sand and the salt, if you get my drift. I don't. Yeah, of course. Well, thanks again for your warmth and hospitality. Well, and your right. Alright, he's not going to be useful. Let's find uh, another way. Is that detergent? Yeah, nothing else, right? All right. The door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. Who? Oh. Penalty. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Lady Piermont. Exactly. I didn't mean to do that. I thought that was something else. I'm sorry to disturb you again. Don't what? No. Yeah. Well. At your. Why can you go? When do you go? Do you go when you. Is this going to be related to a puzzle? Uh, how do you sit down again? Maybe after I go all the way here. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> okay, this isn't. I wonder what's going to happen. What a beautiful bubble bath. What did you accomplish then? Are we going to use this to send the guy away? Like, tell him what's happening? Oh, probably that's why we opened the curtains, so I saw the guy can't see. Sir? Okay. If you are going to be like that. beginning to really overstep the mark. I warn you, one more and I'm going to... But what the hell's going on over there? Why is it me gets hell to pay when there's already too much work to do? I don't know what happens. No idea, no sir. No clue at all. Enjoy. Enjoy your bubble bath. Oh, there's an alarm here. Edinor Hotels. Kronsky Hotel. The Edenor Hotel Group is a hotel chain with a long tradition. The first Edenor was opened in Paris in 1928. Now we have prestigious hotels located in the historic centers of each European capital. Each establishment is unique and housed in former palaces, mansions and stately homes, restored to their former glory and converted into luxury hotel apartments. Edenor Hotels are ideally located for capital city exploration. You may discover the beauty of a nation's architectural heritage while enjoying our high-quality accommodation and first-class service. Your total comfort is guaranteed. Your stay in an Edenor hotel will be much more than a step over. The charm of each location, with its period atmosphere, will leave you with lasting and moving memories. Furthermore, our gourmet chefs are on hand to offer guests the finest of traditional cuisine from the host capital. We have 15 3 to 5 star establishments to our name spread throughout Europe. Amsterdam, Holland, Vermegi. Your sound card works perfectly. Thank you for the follow and welcome to the channel. Welcome. Athens, Greece, the Acropos, Berlin, Germany, the Brand Brandenburg, Brussels, Belgium, the Hortage, Copenhagen, Denmark, the Kostrup, Dublin, Ireland, the Bale, Helsinki, Finland, the Sinkforce, Lisbon, Portugal, the Bellembo, London, UK, the Pacaster, Luxembourg, Luxembourg, the Good Landing, Madrid, Spain, the Iberail, Paris, France, the Maritz, Rome, Italy, the Maximus, Stockholm, Sweden, the Wesseren, Vienna, Austria, the Ring, Vienna. And there's a phone number, I suppose. 4643-3643. No hints or spoilers, it's not gonna be easy. No, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy, but I'm doing fine, I think. If I get stuck too much, I do ask for a hint. Okay, um... Helena stayed here in 1981. Access cards. Hans stayed here as a resident in 1478. Well, I should I should write these down. Okay. Hans in 1985. 1478. Alina stayed again as a resident this time. 1270. No dates. Interesting. Okay, so we have Alina's room. 
And we have Hans's room. What does this do? Oh! It's a buzzer to open the door, okay. Alright. So what was this? Um Forty-six, forty-three, thirty-six, forty-three. Forty-six, forty-three. Thirty-six, forty-three. Okay. Maybe that's not a phone number. Or maybe we are supposed to call it later. Take another look. So why is it here? Is it the phone number of one of these? Okay. Anyway. Let's try and find Helena's room. This is the spa. The famous spa. Let's look here first. Ah, an automaton. I don't need to use this console. Not yet. Not yet. Alright. If you say so. Hello there. Good afternoon, miss. Are you the hotel barman? My name is James, miss. James, the automaton nurse. I am not a barman. I'm sorry. I didn't want to upset you. If you don't mind, miss, I would appreciate it if you would just be a little more rigorous in the terms you employ in the future. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude. My name is Kate Walker. Pleased to meet you, miss. You are not here for treatment, are you? No, I'm not. I only want to meet Madame Romansky. I would be delighted to serve you tea when Madame returns from her constitutional. I don't want to impose. Maybe your mistress won't want to take tea with me. Madame likes to complain for the sake of it. Believe me, she loves visits. In that case, thanks for the invitation. I'm looking for Madame Romansky. Do you know where she is? 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Madame Romansky takes her daily constitutional on the pier. Tea is served at five o'clock sharp. Is it possible to go see her? As you wish, but do pay attention to the salt wind. Can so you we need take to go to the pier. Romansky? Not at this hour, miss. Madam will still be watching the sea at the end of the pier. So? Madam knows perfectly well that during this season I don't go down to the pier. My wheel work goes dicky under the double corrosive action of the salt and sand winds. Listen, you can hear them sweeping up and down the beach and out to sea. We call it the salt wind here. It'll drive us all crazy one of these days. Come on, just make a little effort. No, I'll stay here and make ready for Madame in case she needs me. She can be so unpredictable, such violent swings of mood. Have you ever heard of a Mr. Varlberg? The name is not entirely foreign. Yeah, he probably made really? you. You know Hans Varlberg? That I cannot say, miss. Madam has forbidden me from talking about him and even mentioning his name. Oh. Why? Nostalgia, sadness, medication. Call it what you humans will. We never had this conversation, did we, miss? Madam would be very angry to learn that I know, and now you know as well. Don't worry. Mum's the word. Do you know Comcalsgrad? I left my train there with its engineer. You'll never guess what. It's an automaton, just like you. There's even a family resemblance. Firstly, 
I would say that I do not know Komkolsgrad. Secondly, I have never taken a train. Thirdly, the existence of another automaton with such a degree of finesse as myself appears very unlikely. Oscar Madam is actually an upgrade model. Madam has assured me that I am a unique model. You are a not. gift from a former admirer. Yeah, but you two really do look alike. And you know, I miss him. What? Why is he you not here with his train then? I would never allow Madame Romanski to leave on her own. It's a long story, but hopefully I'll see him again soon. Such attachment is very touching, miss. Well, I'm going, James. See you later, maybe. It would be a pleasure to see you again, miss. Is this a uh, dialogue? Good yes, it is. Well, I'm. It okay, this this is not to be used yet. Um, what's this now? No, oh, okay. Let's try Hans's room. Fourteen seventy-eight. Doesn't look like that works. Okay. Elena, twelve seventy. Darn it! That doesn't work. What? Just as I thought. Why? Why did you think that? Darn it! That just. Damn. Well, we can check that again later. Let's look around first. No, 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 don't text. Kronsky Hotel access card. Temporary code 0968. Okay, we can use the Temporary access card to enter, I guess. Then find the room. 0968. We should go back. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disturb you. Yeah, I think I can thrust with my queen through there. Unless... I can see that I'm disturbing you. Uh, hey, no, no, no. Checking two moves. Hmm. Maybe I'll squeeze him with my bishop instead. Nothing like a good squeeze from a bishop. Okay, I wouldn't like to disturb you any longer. <laughs> what was that? Zero nine six eight. Should I try that first? I guess I will check here first. Is this it? Okay, I guess we just needed the crystal glass from here. Um, okay, let's try this again. What's that? Gas mask? Why do we need a gas mask? This must be the pier.
<laughs> for 50 power armor. I don't know. Where's the rest of it? Madam Romansky? Madam Helena Romansky? Who are you? What do you want? I'm sorry to disturb you, ma'am. My name's Kate Walker. I've come on behalf of Frank Malkovich. Ah, oh, Malkovich, the old son of a gun. Are you one of his relatives? <laughs> Not exactly. He's a good friend of my mother's. He told me you might be here in Arrowbad. I'm American, a lawyer. To what do I owe your visit? You have come so far. It must be important. Indeed it is. I have very delicate and pressing business to attend to. I have just left. Later, my dear, later. I have a slight to do. This hotel must be so. I have to go in. Please, could you be so kind as to call my valet? Your valet? Of course. All right, then. You back here again? How dare you show your damn face round here? Get out of here immediately! Please. I absolutely must find... Miss Romansky! Oh, yes. I'm sorry. She managed to lie her way in here. Don't matter how vigilant you are, there's always one. Uh, but it won't happen again. She'll be out on her ear before you can say, uh... I hope she hasn't upset you too much. Oh, Felix. Stop being such a grizzly bear. This woman is my guest. Yay! She's your guest? But that ain't possible. This scandal didn't even know you three no, hours no. ago. No, no. need to be rude. Be quiet, Felix, before you offend someone. Miss Romansky, please. This maniac turned up earlier and tried to wreck the fountain. If it wasn't for the... I said enough, Felix. Please treat Miss Walker with the respect befitting one of my friends. Don't touch and don't swear. Have I made myself clear, Mr. Smetana? Yes, yes, crystal clear, Madam Romansky. Please do accept my humble apologies. Very good. Bye, Felix. Felix. You may go now. <laughs> Poor Felix. All right. Let's find the nurse. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What, what did I see there? The bell. I think it was an item. If that's going to work. I can put it back. Well, we'll see. Oh, is this another of those? I cannot pick it back up. So I suppose this was the correct place to put it. Put it on, but not the right time to use it. We will see. I cannot pick it back up though.
James, what are you waiting for? Don't tell me you didn't hear the bell this time. The bell did indeed ring, but it is very windy outside, isn't it? It's bell was uh, for the stuff. Yeah, it is a bit gusty. But what's that got to do with it? Madam doesn't understand. She says an automaton doesn't need protection, but my insides don't like the salty wind. I'm afraid to go out, you know. And if you wore my mask to protect you against the salt, would that help? Oh, most certainly. Okay, I guess we skipped a part of the dialogue where we were actually supposed to tell tell him that Helena needed him. We jumped ahead, used the bell without knowing what it was for. Anyway. Katie Poo. So, have you met her yet? This Helena person. What would she like? Does she remember Frank? Hi, Mom. Yeah, sure. I met her and, yeah, she's living in Arlbad. You can thank Frank for me again. I'll remember too, honey. So, what's Arlbad like? Maybe Frank can take me there one day. It's this seaside resort, Ma, but it isn't what it used to be. You'd be real disappointed. Maybe you're right. So, when are you coming home? Is that mission all over then? You wish. Not really, Ma. I still haven't found the air I'm looking for to wrap up the case. Helena Romanski's a kind of detour here. Listen, Munchkin. I get the distinct impression that you're being led up the garden path. Why don't you just come home? Tell your boss this air just doesn't exist. That you've done all you can. Et voila! Do you want me to call him for you? Ma, please, don't get involved. Looking for Hans Varlberg is what I'm being paid for. But I also just want to find him for myself. Heck okay. yeah. You're just as stubborn as your father. Don't complain that your mother didn't warn you. Don't worry, I won't. We are not the one complaining, everyone else is complaining. Tea time. But actually, I'm going to take a quick few minutes break before I continue. Sorry for taking an early break. I will be back in a few minutes. I will also run an ad, so if you are not a sub, mute the stream until I'm back. Be back soon. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. It's a real honor to meet New you, Critical Head Boost. People Paraguay have told me so much about Diablo too. Mm. People still talk about me. Alright, let's do that. Oh, yeah. After this dialogue. 
Of course. Everyone tells me how wonderful you were. How you were one of the greatest singers of the century. Ah, so I was, my dear. But surely you didn't come here just to dig up the past. Like I said, I'm a lawyer, and to tell you the truth, I don't know much about classical music. But after talking to Mr. Borodine and Mr. Malkovich, they really made me want to hear you. Oh, you are too late, my child. Ten years too late. And how is dear Frank? Do tell me. Oh, I am still angry with him for leaving like that to America. Don't be offended, but I never suspected those cowboys actually have an ear for real music. I don't think he sings much anymore. The odd gala, the odd charity event. Anyway, he sends his love. Oh, his love? <laughs> Do you hear that, James? There is someone who still loves me on the other side of the Atlantic. I never said they didn't, madam. What about this other gentleman? What is his name? Borodin? Do I know him? Yes. You once sang in Komkalsgrad. An incredible recital, if the director's account is anything to go by. If you only knew how moved he still is. He's another one who still adores you. I must confess that seeing one of my greatest admirers once more would do wonders for me, but... Ah, oh, my voice. It is so... Ah, uh, I could you know what you need, Alina? You need a bottle of vodka. I'm wrapped up in a case at the moment, and because of it I met a certain Mr. Sergei Borodin, director of the Komkalsgrad Industrial Complex, situated to the northeast of here. Ah, oh, I remember that factory. <gasps> oh, a sad city indeed. <laughs> what am I saying? They all were. Madame Romansky. This Borodin is one of your biggest fans. <laughs> you found online Pazak? If you could come and sing for him there, Kotsar 1 or Kotsar 2 Pazak? His biggest dreams come true. Sing? Oh, my poor girl. I have not sung for years. Time has taken its toll. My voice is like the rest of me. <sighs> Faded. That's very cool. One, like my heart. Oh, aren't you going a bit far there? I bet you've still got a great voice. Oh, you are the sweetest cherry, my dear. I am not senile yet, but I look reality in the face every time I look in the mirror. And I can tell you, singing is something I did in the past. We need to... We need to make her excited about singing. Strange. I get the impression that Hans Vorarlberg turned up here, too. You know Hans Vorarlberg? Of course. Not exactly. I'm looking case. for him to sort out this case. inheritance case. But I've had to snoop around in his past a bit to get on his trail. And I guess he's kind of a close friend now. You knew him, didn't you? Oh, yes. I knew Hans Vorarlberg. Do you hear, James? Ah, oh, if you had had the chance to meet Hans. My Hans. Oh my god. What has become of him? Where is he? As questions go, madam, that one is not without certain complications. I'm sorry, but I have no idea. That's the goal of my mission. To find Hans Varlberg. That's why I have to get back to my train as quickly as possible and to get out of Komkalsgrad. And you cannot find him without the train? No. The train is one of his last inventions. So is Oscar, the automaton engineer. I get the feeling that the two of them are going to lead me to him. Did you hear that, James? I might see Hans again. I have dreamed so long of meeting my dearest sweetheart again. Oh, if only I could sing. Mm. If only I were in Paris. I would ask George for that miracle cocktail. Miracle cocktail, eh? The one that only he knew how to make. Wouldn't I, James? Ah, yes, madam. now we have to As call the Paris Hotel. Said, without that famous cocktail, your French tour would have probably been cancelled. I don't understand. An extraordinary tale, my dear. It was December, and it was terribly cold and damp. I had to play the role of Tatiana that evening at the opera. But since the morning, I had lost my voice. It drove me completely mad with worry. 
I don't know how George, the barman at the Moritz Hotel, heard about my affliction, but he brought me up a cocktail that he had invented. A strange concoction. But it turned out to be a miracle cure. My voice returned to me in an instant. That's amazing. That's just what we need. We're going to mix you up a cocktail. Yeah, this is becoming more oh, fun. My dear child. I bet it's a placebo, like just what's going George good. never told me the recipe of the drink. He loved to keep his trade secrets. He said it made him absolutely irreplaceable. <laughs> well, I'm going to get George to tell me. He hasn't yet met with my powers of persuasion. You are overconfident, Kate. Look, please, you absolutely have to come with me to Comicalsgrad. It's the only way I'm going to get my train back and be able to carry on my journey. Your train? That's right. I've been traveling on this amazing locomotive with this automaton engineer. He isn't a million light years away from your James. <laughs> Do you hear that, James? And automaton? You have a twin brother? How delightful. And I thought I was the only person alive able to put up with such a peculiar but Believe me, it is difficult. Permit me to express my surprise, madam. Surely the fact that I remain in your service guarantees <laughs> my uniqueness. Oscar isn't my butler, though. He has a great independence of thought. Sometimes he does whatever suits him. Just like you, James. Isn't that funny? Madam, we'll not be surprised to hear that she is strongly advised not to undertake a journey that, unless I am very much mistaken, will tire her needlessly. James, only one of us will make that decision, and that person is me. I'm very curious to meet your automaton, my dear. Where is it? He had to stay with the train in Comcalsgrad. The director used his hands for the final touches on his pianist. It's the same pianist that will accompany you when you sing. How quaint. Another automaton. And this one can he even play along with me? Play for me? Ah, why does my voice abandon me so now? I'm very Helena. We'll take care of your voice. You must have had a fantastic life. So exhilarating. Ah, much more than you could ever imagine. I used to sing the finest melodies of the moment in the most fantastic theaters around the world. I have been hailed by kings and courted by princes. Grown men would sink to their knees when they heard the first notes of my recital. My voice could break crystal glass and hearts, many hearts. I'm not surprised. Then one day sickness steals away the gift life has given you. My voice started to betray me. I started to get migraines. My health failed. They sent me here to let the spa town weave its healing spell. I was only going to rest for a month, but then the month became a year and the years get longer. But you look so healthy to me. Oh, thank you, my dear. I'll let you get a bit of rest. It was a real pleasure, my child. You are a charming young lady, and simply talking to you has warmed my soul. 4643-3643. Let's try this again. New critical hits boost. Ah, of course. Boosted pillars of, eternity. of course, I almost forgot. Sorry, parrots. Um, so we have a Diablo... New critical hits boost. Parrotwise just boosted the Elder Scrolls. Arena. Arena! Interesting. You have been changing up your game a lot lately. A different game every day. Okay, this is here. And Arena is... Where, where is Arena? There. 11th of May. Alright, it's in the correct place. Very cool, very cool. Thanks for the boosts. Hello, Hotel Moritz? No reception here, can I help you? I'd like to talk to Mr. George. He's a barman at your hotel. George. I'll connect you with the bar. Just a moment. Hello, 
hotel bar? Hi. I'd like to talk to George, please. George? You mean Mr. George? Uh, yeah. Probably. Uh, he must have been a barman at the Moritz in the 50s. Well, don't want to disappoint you, but Mr. George stopped working here quite a while ago. What was it about? I've been told that Mr. George had a recipe for a fantastic cocktail, and only he knew the ingredients. I absolutely must know what was in it. It's a matter of life and death. I'd love to help you, ma'am, but you see old George? Now, he knew a lot of cocktails. One hell of a barman and one hell of a reputation. He did write down his recipes before he left, but if you can tell me which one you were looking for exactly? Uh, I don't know. There are a lot of them, you say? Yeah. The Paris Peking Shuffle, the Deep Green Secret, mm. Boco Poco, Blue Helena, Red Mambo... Blue Helena, Helena. you say? Yeah, that's the one. The Blue Helena. Right, I'll take a look. Blue Helena, you say? Let's see. One measure of vodka, one measure of blue carasso, one measure of honey, a dash of lime and ice cubes. Shake it all together, and Bob's your uncle. Perfect. Thank you very much, sir. You have What's been the most helpful to me. Espresso? Oh, I didn't. I didn't write them down in time. Can I hear it again? What was the number? Let's try it again. Hi, it's me. Why, sure. One measure of vodka, one measure of blue carasso, one measure of honey, honey, a dash of lime and ice cubes, and shake. Lime. Got it. Thanks a lot. Ice cube. Shaken, not stirred. Yeah, let's try this. So lemon ice cubes. What's this? G clef, F clef. What are these for? Oh. <laughs> okay, interesting. All right. All right. So um. So assuming the line at the G clef is G. Lucra, so is what E or C? The reds are probably C, right? So C, D, E, no. Wait, let's. Okay, seven notes, seven whites keys, so they are there are no accidentals. We don't have sharps or flats. Which means um where, where was that paper? Did I pick it up? I wonder how that Oh, first let's put the vodka vodka in here. I wonder how that works. Where am I supposed to put the... Okay. So where is that paper? Oh, musical score? Yeah. Alright, so... C, D, E, F, G, A, B in the G clef and C, D, E, F, G, A, B in the F clef. Is probably what this means. So, um, Blue Crasso is the E in the G clef. Let's say E4. And we need Vodka, which is, let's say, D3. What else do we need? Honey, lime, ice cube. Okay, they are not here. 
and the lime and ice cube are not here. So lemon, lime and ice cube are here. But where is honey? Oh, this is this is shake. Okay. No, 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 no. What are you even drinking? There was nothing in it. Oh, my God. Oh. From what backwater of hell did you find this potion? It are was empty. It's a... A, a blue Helena. That is impossible. The blue Helena had a color that was... Like... Um, and... We are lacking aroma, honey. Like... Um, you understand? Its texture was not quite so... Um, one thing is for certain. This is no Blue Helena. Make an effort, my child. Right. I guess I'll try out another mix. So let's use... F clef D. G clef E. I think we are... We might be missing honey here. Let's put some lime. Ice cubes. What's this? This is ice cubes, okay. Oh, this is honey. Okay, this is honey. Like, beehive. This is the ice cubes. So we are lacking lime and ice cubes. Let's, let's try and find them. I'm pretty confident about the rest of the puzzle, but... Where's the kitchen in this place? Probably not out here. Is this something else? Oh, no. never mind. That's the cocktail station. I should say, right? I should say I'm correct. <laughs> I knew you would approve. Actually, there's a part of the hotel grounds that we have not been to. I've come to say I'm sorry for the fountain. I hope I haven't caused too much damage, but it's the best idea I could find to actually meet Madame Romansky. Oh, it's no problem. I mean, who even looks at the stupid fountain these days? So, you're big buddies with Romansky. Just what was it you said to get in her good book so quickly? I just asked if she could come with me to sing in a factory. Romansky, sing? It's been a year and a day since she last sung anything. Bleeding surprise she's going with you. We'll see. There's always hope, and, well, 
Persistence. And you certainly have a lot of that. No denying it, madam. Is it's new? It's a real shame. No, no, it's not new. You. Thanks. It is not new. Uh, we haven't been here, if I remember correctly. And I do. Oh, it's the train station. Huh. I assume this is the winding up station. I don't need device. to do that. I don't need So no honey or lime here. Wait, maybe there is no audio cue. But maybe the honey and lime are actually added to the cocktail when we press. Let's let's try it like that. Oh, wait. There's a cupboard here. Hey. Yeah. I should have looked around more closely before checking the train station. So, honey. Oh, it's crystallized. I have to liquefy it. Well, let's add lemon. No, lime, whatever. So I guess I have to heat this up. Hmm. What could be a thing to... make the honey more liquid? Can I hang it up as a bell and shake it? <laughs> Doesn't look like Yeah, I cannot hang anything here anymore. Can I put it in the spa watchers? The hot watchers? Was there an interactable spot at the spa? Maybe the fountain would work if it's also hot water, I don't know. It's... I don't see why it would be hot water, but... Could be.
Okay, nothing intractable here, right? What's this? Oh, it's the way back. Maybe it has something to do with these guys. Excuse me, sir. Can you hold this under the water? Oh, okay. I think I found it. Doesn't look like that works. What? Oh, we, we raise the temperature then? All the way up. Let those guys burn. More, more. Boil the boil those men. I want to see bubbles. Okay, maybe this is all. Doesn't look like what? You think it's a toggle? But it always turns clockwise. Yeah, I wanted to see if it was a toggle. But it always turns clockwise. <laughs> okay, alright. At least I had the right idea. Hey, colored kappa. Shake it, shake it, baby. Shake your cocktail maker. Nom nom nom. Delicious blue Helena. My voice. My God, that is atrocious. Horrific. It was too good to be true. George's Blue Helena is powerless. Ineffective on the voice of an old woman. What? I think it was but amazing. Your voice is perfect. Don't be so down on yourself. You just need to warm up a bit, that's all. After all these years, it's to be expected. No, no, I am very grateful for all your efforts, but really, I cannot go on stage with such a puny, pathetic voice. My performance would be so poor. I would get such bad reviews. You've just got to get your confidence back, hasn't she, James? I must concur, madam. It sounds to me like your voice is fully restored. James, be quiet. You are a sniveling little creep. What? Come on, remember your good old days. Where, which one was it? Oh, letters. Ah, letters. Which never made it to Helena. Ah, we can't give it to her. It would be so cool if we could. Okay, it's not these. The blue Helena really does have a magical effect. Your voice is sensational. I am not convinced. If my voice has really returned, it is not ready. It is still not powerful enough. 
I tell you, you're wrong. The Calm Calls grad director is going to be amazed. Hmm. My dear, how little you know. I remember a time, madam. Exactly. Exactly. This is what, what was going on in my mind. Ah, those were the days. <laughs> Shards of crystal. I could never do that. Come on, try. Wait. Why why can't we? The blue Helena, I am not, I tell you, my, I remember, ah, those were the, do we need to fool her, like, do we have to crack the dish first? I don't need to do that. So, oh. Come on, try. You can do it. My voice. Wow, we didn't even need to fool her. My God. She was able to do it. What have I done? My voice has returned. Did you hear that, James? My voice... My voice has returned. Your voice is still as magnificent as ever, madam. But please don't forget, you're no spring chicken these days. Time has taken its toll. And you're not the toy boy you once were either, James. I hope you'll have fun on your own. Madam, leaving you is quite out of the question. Don't be stupid, James. What would you do there? Your place is here. You must prepare my return. Madam, I won't insist. Adventure is not an integral part of my action functionalities. Maybe you're right, madam. As ever. Do I understand correctly that you're going to go with me to Comcallsgrad? You do, my dear. We're going on tour, my dear. Anchors away. I'll go back to the airship to prepare my departure. You can join me there when you're ready. James, take me to my room. I must prepare. Quick, quick. What are you waiting for? My fans are waiting for Your me. fan, are singular. Are you sure you're sure about this, madam? Shut up, James, and put your foot on it. This part was actually, I think, not very well designed. I was lucky to spot that hotspot. I almost left the area, and that would have cost me a lot of time. I was lucky. It wasn't great, this part. Okay, so what do we do? Do I go with them? What was the room? 1270? Wait. Okay, I cannot use the machine anymore. I guess... I guess I'm going to... The airship? Maybe talk to the manager? Hello? 
Hi, it's me, Olivia. Hey, you. sweetie, what's new? How was it at the Goldbergs then? Like, uh, alcoholic. Is that all? What's up? Cat got your tongue? Well, <laughs> tell me what you're up to. How's the case going? How's that Romansky chick? You don't think it's dragging out too long? I haven't had the time to get bored, I can tell you that, but... Hey, Olivia, what's the matter? You didn't even answer my question, that's so unlike you. Did I tell you I bought this really cool blue silk top? Olivia, what are you hiding? Come on out with it. You've got me worried. Oh, Kate, I'm sorry. I've done something horrible. I can't sleep anymore. I... I can't eat... Yeah, you I slept with them, right? Olivia, tell me what's going on. What about Dan? Has something happened to him? I am weak. You're gonna hate me for the rest of your life, and you'd be right in your situation. I. What? After the Goldbergs, Dan took me home. We're a bit, you know, we shouldn't have drunk so much. He came up to mine to have a nightcap, and then. Okay, you're gonna hate me. Please hate me. I got it. It's all my fault. I could never tell you that I've had the hots for Dan for ages, because you're my friend and you were engaged and all, but but then we got so close lately and I, I just lost sight of what's right and what's wrong. I, Kate, the guilt is killing me. I want to die. Look, don't bust a gut over it. You and Dan, it's, it's like not real right now. I gotta go, Olivia. I need to process this new bit of data. Are you like some automaton or something? Kate, please! I'm hanging up now. I want to be on my own. You got the diva. It's opera time. What? 
What was that? We have metal shears still, so. <laughs> Kate, help me! What is happening? What does this man want of me? He has gone totally mad. Don't worry. There must be some way of getting you out of there, and I'm going to find it. But do hurry up, my child. I am terrified you will return and become dangerous. Be strong, Madame Romansky. You can trust me. Okay. It was this is. Oh, last you, lady. I was beginning to be desperate. I came as fast as I could. Now hurry, get out of here quickly before that maniac notices. I've got to get Oscar's hands back. Jump into the train, Elena. The train. Sure, walk slower. Why don't you? Thank you, ma'am. You have 30 seconds of latency. Yeah. That happens. I was probably in the background, right? While you were watching Nebuka. That happens when I'm in when the stream is in the background. Are you alright, madam? My heart has been put to the test here. But it just might hold up. Let's go. Let's not hang around here. I guess, I guess. <laughs> That's part of the problem, oh, Zainia. My god, what has happened now? Oh my cry, Miss Volker! But you are not strong enough. Not for me. So you can stop playing games now. Return the hands to me. And bring Madame Romansky back. Or I shall not be responsible for my actions. You don't scare me, you old lunatic. Helena, grab the hands and get back to the train. Tell Oscar to get ready to leave. I'm gonna find a way out of this lousy factory. So we came through the mines. You will never succeed. And she is living through the mines. We'll just see about that. There's the main door, which we opened you, earlier. I warned you. Be careful, my child. You too. Then there is the window that we opened earlier. Oh, this is the main door. She's living through the main door and we can live through the mine. I hope that's not what I think it is. No. Wait, yes. Wait, what is that? No. Wow. Are we trapped here? Oh. Hey, we are out.
Oscar, if you ask for a ticket, I'm going to disassemble your head. Where's Oscar? What on earth is going on? Why is this train not moving? This is not the time to hang around with that madman on the loose. That is a bit of a concern. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. What does he want now? An exit visa? A ticket? Oscar, I'm back. Let's get out of here. What a pleasure it is to see you again, Kate Walker. Please take your seat with Miss Helena in the carriage. She simply is a charming lady. She helped me screw my hands back on. I must inform you, though, that regulations make no provision for supplementary passengers. I hope that you still have your ticket for Arrowbad. Oscar! Message received and understood, Kate Walker. Departure imminent. Thank you. For once, thank you, Oscar. is wrong he was not asking for a ticket he changed his mind too quickly what's happening oh no that thing is stopping us hello kate hi it's me dan are you all right i'm okay now yeah thanks but uh, if I said that not long ago I was grappling with a mad music lover who wanted to kidnap an old forgotten opera star, but I foiled his plan and escaped through an abandoned mine, then I guess it's completely mad. You'd be proud of me, Dan. Real proud. Kate, I don't understand a thing you're saying. I barely recognize you. No, oh, it doesn't matter. How was your day? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I went to dinner with the Goldbergs. I finally beat Bob at squash. Uh, the cleaning woman broke the vase in the entrance hall. Well, and I slept with that, your best best friends. I don't know that. See, nothing new. Everything's cool, though? Yeah, yeah, everything's uh, cool. You're not missing me at all? Oh, yeah, sure I am. I had Olivia on the phone. She was a little upset. Bam? Nothing to say? I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't know what came over me. It, it happened so quickly. I just totally lost control. I was so weak, so dumb. I just can't imagine how... I just can't... I can't imagine how you could ever forgive me. What a bastard I've been. I don't know, Dan. Maybe I'm to blame somewhere in all this. Maybe I pushed you into Olivia's arms. I'm well aware that this trip has taken me far from New York and far from the Kate you once knew. And you know what surprises me the most? I don't miss it. Heck yeah. What's happening to us, Kate? Maybe we've just realized we don't really love each other, Dan. We can talk about it when you get back, if you want. I don't know, Dan. We'll see. I don't love you anymore, Dan. I love Oscar. Oscar is my new love. So uh, I remember this. Let's actually remember it better. There is this thing which probably closes these bars, right? That must be why this is marked. Oh. Can I, um... Okay, I... Can I move these stairs? I cannot.
So what am I supposed to use here? Not the designs, surely. Or any other paper. Can I enter through here? Is it closed? I don't have the metal shears anymore. Or the screwdriver, that is weird. No point. Okay, what am I missing? Um, maybe let's talk to Oscar. What is it this time? Large iron rods have emerged from between the huge legs of the giant statue. The track is now completely blocked. But that's absolutely crazy. Will that madman never get off our case? I'm going to see what I can do. Maybe we can take off one of the levers, the elevator levels, the, the elevator leading to the mine. Can we pick it off? This is the elevator is broken now. I don't need to do that. Again. You don't need to do that again. I don't. Okay, that's not it. What's this? Oh, bomb? There are bombs. Ah, all right, all right. I guess that red thing on the plans is the weak spot or something. Oscar, let's get the hell out of here. Wait, is he not coming with us to Hans? Why did we stop here, by the way? Do we need to wind up again? Come on, Oscar, let's go. Come on, buddy. Don't ask for any documents, please. You okay, Oscar? Still in one piece? Humor is a concept outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. You should know that by now. Oscar, come on, quit crabbing. We got out of that dingy city safe and sound, didn't we? And even with a certain style, I might add. Style is the right word. Hey, what are you doing on the platform? That's not like you. I wanted to take a little air and dust away the cobwebs from my joints. This salt wind is terrible, though. I think it would be wiser to return to our nice warm train. Get a life, Oscar. <laughs> Get a life. She said to an automaton. The weather has changed since my last visit. The wind has dropped and it has started snowing a little. I was not fortunate enough to accompany you on your first visit, Kate Walker. You abandoned me to who knows what horrible fate in that creepy factory. Oscar, do you know something? You're changing. You might not notice, but you are. Change is outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. 
I hope the train wasn't damaged in the explosion. Do not worry, Kate Walker. I checked that everything was in order. You really do think of everything, Oscar. I do not think of water sports, Kate Walker. <laughs> That's, that was so random. You know, Oscar, sometimes I think we'll never find Hans Varlberg. You have manifested a certain spunk and perseverance, Kate Walker. Please do not be discouraged. It's possible you are closer to your initial target than you currently imagine. Yeah, maybe. Oscar, the wind has dropped. Maybe you can come with me. Kate Walker, a high-precision mechanism like myself has a built-in aversion to sub-zero temperatures. Oscar, I think everything's ready. We can go now. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we can start the engine and get going. I'll be circulating shortly to punch your ticket. Uh, give me a I'm break, Oscar. I'm going to Oscar. punch your face. Miss Walker. If you keep Ms. asking Walker. for tickets. Wait, wait! Don't go yet. Mr. Felix, what's the matter now? Has something happened to Madame Romansky? No, no, not at all. Our favorite diva's fine and dandy, but there's a package for you at the reception. I said to myself, I said, Felix, maybe she's got to have it before she goes. Maybe. A package for me? But that's impossible. But it's got Miss Walker written on it, clear as day. Why didn't you tell me about it earlier? It's only just arrived, like. Oh, and, well, who delivered it? Um, I don't know. I just took my eye off reception for a moment. The game was on, you see, and, uh, and there it was, on the counter in reception. Uh, come and get it. <laughs> Okay. What's wrong with you, man? Why didn't you bring it? Okay. Well, let's let's save. Let's save. All right. Oh, the fountain isn't working. Did it freeze? And you opened my package too. Perfect. What? Hello? What the hell are you up to, Kate? Mr. Marson, please. Do try to understand. Understand? What I understand is this. One, our main client is ready to drop the whole caboodle if the deal isn't tied up in the next 24 hours. Two, this is going to cost the firm multi dinero. Come on, three, Kate, just hang up, just hang up. Of judgment, trusting you with this case. That's what I understand. I know it doesn't look like it, but... No buts, Walker. You're looking for a senile old creek and you're making heavy weather of it. You know, he isn't as senile as all that. He's got this creative streak. Look, drop the mumble jumble. I don't want excuses. I want... I've got to go, Mr. Marson. I think I'm onto something. Attack! 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 Kate is going to break up with them, quit her job, and become a full-time mammoth hunter. Hello. By the end of this here, game. Felix Masana at your service. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, she's right here in front of me, ma'am. Immediately. Please be my guest. Uh, Miss Walker, Madame Romansky would like you to join her at the hotel bar as quickly as possible. I'm going. Madame Romansky, you wanted to see me? There you are, my dear. I wanted to talk to you before you leave. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Despite our mishap in Konkosgrad, I'm very grateful to you. You helped me to forget my life here and 
this dead beach where I stroll up and down all day, getting more and more bored. So much the better. Time passes so quickly. One day you are at the peak of your glory. You think it is going to last forever. And then one day the bubble bursts, and you are washed up and forgotten. Madame Romansky, don't be so gloom and doom. It doesn't suit you. And if there is no one left to help you out, you start to sink. Sink into a long, dark winter. Perhaps you should rest now. You've had a trying time. It's been emotional. You must be tired. When I returned here, Hans gave me such a taste for life. He too was ill. Oh, he coughed. He must have spent too long at the factories, breathing in their smoke. And then he was better. And he left. And I stayed with my memories. Hans Vorarlberg? Hans Vorarlberg was so full of joy, so carefree. He was a little simple of spirit, of course, as they say. He was a child. A child who made fantastic toys. I think that maybe I loved him. God alone knows where he is today. The plane with the hotel supplies has arrived. Maybe you should take a walk outside. I don't understand. I am old. I am tired. I have been very pleased to meet you, Kate Walker. Goodbye, James. The plane do with the supplies arrives? That is all I ever do, miss. May fortune follow your every footstep. The snow is a good sign. Really? The snow chases the wind away and covers the salt and sand on the ground. The air becomes purer and still. Ideal conditions for a constitutional. Great. Thanks for everything, James. Okay, let's look outside. I assume she meant... Wait. She meant the pier? Possibly? I need to put this up. Good morning, sir. Mr. Vorlberg? Hans Vorlberg? Ah! You've brought the train then. That's good. Mr. Vorlberg, you have no idea how pleased I am to meet you at last. I'm Kate. Where is Anna? Your sister has passed away, Mr. Vorlberg. I am sorry. Truly sorry. Ah, okay. Otherwise, it's Anna who would have come, right? Not you. <laughs> I guess you're right, Mr. Varlberg. My name's Kate Walker. I... Kate Walker. Okay, I'm going away on the train. A long way away. Where's that? That way. Siberia. Siberia. Uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Vorlberg, I've been ordered to tie up the buyout of your factory in Valadilene. It's, uh, my job, you understand. Anna told me. The automatons. That's over now, isn't it? Mr. Vorlberg, the factory belongs to you now, and I need your signature to tie up the deal. Okay. Then I'm going away on the train. Here's the sales contract. I'll give you some time to look it over. Your sister already agreed to the terms. All we need now is your signature. What? You've signed just like that? What did you Without expect? Reading? I can't read. I don't know how to. Oh. In that case, I'll read it for you. No, it's okay. Leave it. I've got to go away on the train, Kate Walker. As you wish, Mr. Varlberg. And let me wish you a very pleasant journey. Yes? Listen, Walker, I've decided to send over some backup. No need, Mr. Marson. 
What do you mean? Hans Varlberg has just signed. Everything's hunky-dory. Are you saying that... Yep. That Varlberg Manufacturing is now the exclusive property of the Universal Toy Company. But... <laughs> that's great news. Good work. Excellent work, Walker. A real masterstroke. I knew I could count on you, Kate. I congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Right, now get back here as quick as you can. I want those papers on my desk tomorrow. My secretary will organize a meeting with Universal Toys immediately. You'll no doubt want to hand over the contract yourself. And now that I think of it, I've got no one on the Schwann Airport case. Big trial coming up. A real opportunity. The job is yours. My little way of saying thank you, Kate Walker. You're too kind. You have a great career as a lawyer ahead of you, Kate. See you tomorrow. Well done again, and don't lose those papers, huh? Now that would be the dumbest thing. <laughs> I'm glad you are amused. Real dumb. Let's tear the contract up. Kate Walker? Yes, Mr. Varlberg? Are you coming on the train too, Kate Walker? Uh, no. That really wasn't in the plan. But thanks for offering. This adventure's all over for me now, Mr. Varlberg. Too bad. Silly, really. You don't like adventure, do you? I don't really... I mean, maybe there's... <sighs> it's not easy to say. Yes? I have to go back to New York. They're waiting for me there, you understand? I understand. The plane. It's going to New York too, maybe. Maybe. I suppose I'd better go find out. Yes. It's more sensible. Maybe. <laughs> See you later, Kate Walker. Yes. See you later, Mr. Varlberg. Come on, Kate. You know what you want to do. Heck yeah. Hey, where's your tickets? Kate never learns. He will be furious, yeah. What? Is is this it? Yes, I want to play Cyber Ed soon. Actually, I don't, but... What happens if I press yes? Oh, it's over. It's over. Wow, it took a lot less than I thought, this last bit. No credits, anything. Now let's watch the credits anyway. Oh, what a story, what a story. Yeah, I, I remember just a little bit of it before starting the game, but I didn't remember most of it. It's such a great story. I'm sorry. I didn't realize so little was left. We could have finished it yesterday, maybe. So yeah, um, it's been less than two hours since we started, so a short stream today, I guess. 
Yeah, I suppose it was a whole chapter. Shorter than the other chapters. So we are going to start Siberia to um, next Sunday. In that case. I loved it though. I don't remember anything at all about Siberia 2. Nothing. I at least remembered bits and pieces about the first game, but about the second game I remember nothing, so it's going to be even more of a blind run for me. It's very similar to the first game, gameplay-wise. Alright, that's good to know. And they have been released very close to each other too. Unlike the third game, which was released... How many? 15 years later? GG! Thank you, thank you. Alright, let's raid, let's raid Nebuka, you know it's very rare that we get to raid Nebuka, because usually he starts before me and ends before me, but since we are finishing early today, we can raid him. Alright, very cool, so uh... We were done with Siberia 1 today, which is which is what I was expecting, but it took less time than I thought, so maybe I could I should have prepared Siberia 2, I don't know, but uh, I think I could use the rest as well. Uh, a short stream today is, is a good thing for me as well. So Siberia 2 next Sunday, but before that, the next stream is on Monday, where we are going to play Broken Sword 2.5, the fan-made game before we actually start Deus Ex, the ninth game of the critical hits. I assume on Thursday, because I think Broken Sword 2.5 is a short game, it should take us one stream to finish, in my opinion. In my best guess, let's say. I, I haven't actually played it. So, uh, I hope to see you again on Wednesday, if you have not given me a follow, and want to come back for some more points and click and RPG goodness, please consider giving me a follow or even joining Discord if you want to help me choose what games to play next. So, next time we meet, Wednesday. Until then, be well and take care of yourselves. And goodbye.